Hello all, this is Nasreen Sultana, Assistant Professor from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. For this semester, I will be dealing with Deep Learning for Vision Systems. And in today's session, we will talk about the first topic of first unit, Computer Vision and its Applications. Before moving on to this topic, let us just have a quick look on the topics of Unit 1. In the first part, we have Computer Vision Fundamentals, where we talk about image processing, what kind of images, different types of images that are given as input to the machine. And in the second part, we talk about the basic concepts of deep learning and neural networks. Coming to this session, what computer vision actually is? It is defined as ability of a computer to understand and interpret visual data. Now, what kind of data we will talk about here is images and videos. The other definition of computer vision is ability of a computer to automatically perform certain tasks which human vision system can easily perform. Now what kind of task we are talking about? We will discuss now. Consider this image shown. A human not only identifies the objects from this image but determines their positions also. So identification of the objects from the given image is called as object detection and determining their positions from the given image is called as localization. So the main aim of computer vision is to make a computer do these two tasks automatically. These are the other definitions. Computer vision is a field of AI and computer science that focuses on enabling computers to interpret and understand visual information it involves in the development of algorithms and techniques that allow machines to extract meaningful insights and make decisions based on images or video data. Next, we will talk about a term called as visual perception because computer vision is related to this term of visual perception. Visual perception I can define as understanding the world through images and videos or I can also define as the science of perceiving and understanding the world through images and videos. So this is the other definition of visual perception. It is the act of observing patterns and objects through sight or visual input. The other definition given by a scientist called as Palmer in 2012 is it is a process of acquiring knowledge about environmental objects and events by extracting information from the light they emit or reflect. This visual perception has three steps involved. The first step is capturing of image, which is nothing but vision. Second step is some cognitive activity happening with that captured image. And the third step involved is acquisition of knowledge, that is extracting some semantic information from the captured image. There is certain analogy behind capturing of image by a human and capturing of image by a camera that can be understood from the given figure here. You have an object which is the image of a tree. Light reflected from this image travels through the lens of the eye and an inverted image of the tree is formed on the retina. This image will be interpreted by the brain as image of a tree. So human capturing of image by human will capture the image as well as interpret the image. Whereas capturing of image by a camera, light reflected from this image travels through the lens of the camera and an inverted image is formed on the film of the camera. It is just capturing but not interpreting. So this is the difference between the capturing of image by a human and by a camera. So the clear idea of visual perception is the whole process of visual perception involves not just seeing but also accurately interpreting what is seen that is capturing the image as well as interpreting that captured image is nothing but visual perception. Coming to the vision system we have two different types of vision systems human vision system and artificial intelligence vision, vision, vision system. In human vision system, you can see an image 
of three dogs and a grass this image is given as input i which is my sensing device will capture the image brain will interpret that given image as dogs and grass this brain is acting as my interpreting device same is the case with the artificial intelligence vision system when the image is being captured by the sensing device which is nothing but camera this captured image should be interpreted so we make use of interpreting device which involves few neural network algorithms or convolutional neural networks and the output will be interpreted so this slide gives the comparison of human vision and computer vision which involves uh, sensing devices and interpreting devices of a human and a camera coming to the comparison of image processing and computer vision we told that computer vision is nothing but capturing of image and then interpreting that particular image so can we call computer vision as image processing no we have few differences between image processing and computer vision the first difference is image processing is nothing but processing of raw input images and computer vision is nothing but extracting information from those images coming to the second difference image processing makes use of methods like anisotropic diffusion which is used to enhance the edges hidden markov model which is used for modeling of biological sequences and so on whereas image processing itself is a method which is being employed by computer vision along with other machine learning techniques convolutional neural networks etc coming to the third difference image processing is a subset of computer vision whereas computer vision is a superset of image processing the last difference is the examples or applications of image processing are rescaling of images and correcting illumination changing tones and etc whereas computer vision applications include object detection phase detection and handwriting recognition system we'll talk about the basic components of uh, human and machine machine vision system here we have the first uh, component as sensing device and the second component as interpreting device coming to the sensing devices these are the few examples camera x-ray lidars in drones lidar is nothing but light uh, detection and uh, ranging which is used for measuring the ranges which makes use of light in the form of pulses coming to the interpreting devices the output from the sensing device is to be interpreted so we need to build an artificial brain with the help of artificial neural networks as well as convolutional neural networks that is replace human brain with artificial brain this figure gives the similarities of biological neuron with the artificial neuron the process of flow of information is same in both biological as well as artificial neuron as we have done with the basic definitions of computer vision and components of computer vision we'll move on to the next topic called as the applications of computer vision here are the list of few applications we'll look into one by one coming to the first application of image classification image classification is the task of assigning to an image a label from a predefined set of categories example i'll talk about here as lung cancer doctors can easily diagnose lung cancer by examining the ct scan and x ray that is they examine the nodules present in those two images of size somewhere around 6 to 10 mm nodules what if the nodules are very much small like 3 mm or 4 mm it is difficult for the doctors to identify such small nodules so convolutional neural networks will be able to do that task of identifying such small nodules from those two images and then diagnose the lung cancer coming to the next application traffic sign recognition system manual traffic sign recognition approach is time consuming hence uh, computer vision methods are employed for this the next application is object detection and localization these two terms we have already talked about given an image detecting the objects present in the image as well as finding the positions of those 
detected objects is called as localization which can be considered to be as one of the application of computer vision the next application is generating art which is also called as style transfer you have a term called as neural style transfer which is one of the most interesting computer vision application which is used to transfer the style from one image to another image for example you can see here this is the original image of a city after application of some style or some art the second image is formed and the third image represents the painting of the original image the artist takes days or even weeks to finish this task of painting whereas computer vision does this work in a matter of seconds coming to the next application called as creating images uh, in 2014 a scientist called as good fellow invented a new deep learning model that can imagine new things and that model is called as generative adversarial networks this is called as gan given a set of images gan makes entirely new realistic looking images you can see example here the first image is the input image based on this image it has generated new realistic looking images the next application is face recognition in face recognition task it allows us to exactly identify the image of a person in face recognition you have face verification which involves one to one matching and in face identification it involves one to many matching coming to the last application you have image recommendation system here the user finds similar images with respect to a given query image example shopping websites which provides the product suggestions based on previous browsing browsing history or based on the selection of particular product here is the example of an apparel search from a shopping website so this is the end of today's session thank you all